Let us see what the postman brought today. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, or even no, though we could easily gossip. walk to his shop. Uninteresting. That's good service. You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you... Imp See, Watson? The conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. Get the strand. Come now, Mr. Holmes. Murder? Yes, but it's his but he also has his scruples. Not every pawn knows it's part of a game. treasure. I used to do lots of those in my childhood for myself and... Is it a call for help? A bad joke, or both? Better not risk leaving this matter ignored, don't you think? Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? You're asking the right questions, Doctor. Let's find a way to coax him out. An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. In the language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are the finest view London has to offer. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the It queen. must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. We better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Mr. Barnes. Not much further now. Shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn out sole. These are a chewing tobacco. Someone knelt here. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. Amazing, Mr. Holmes, to read the ground like an open book. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it out.
impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here. These were sturdy boxes. It would have required a serious blow to break them. A scrap of hessian. No air coming through it. Is this a Tanifa, a Maori water spirit? Or something else? Either way, no it's giving me chills. Button chops, the remains of a meal. The ashes are long since cold. Ah, I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. That's an opioid, Mr. Holmes, and not Clothes made of hessian. I will not. I Sailing from afar, the intruder waited for a window of opportunity. When Kimihir went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe, then blocked it with a cloth. Kimihir inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order to transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, Kimahir had the key in his shack. Remarkable! It makes total sense! Sturdy rope, professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often we Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say saltpeter. Then we're in agreement. Well done. of London. Of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed. We shall need to take a cab there. Model of a homely room and fireplace. Chimney bears a peculiar form, like it's meant to have something put inside. like a factory to me. 
Wonder what could get the gears inside moving. Let's just go. Stenwick wanted results, not pleasantries. A small minecart. Endearing, if disturbing. Looks like putting something in the slot may get the gears inside to move. Children's clothes, judging by the size. Padlocks have names etched onto them. Anne, Tom, Charles. Sure, I like the treasure hunt's ending. Could we really have saved her homes? No. Solving this crime is beyond my reach. It is society who must work on sparing children from death by hard labor. Very sick here. It sounds as though those people will need my help. <clears throat> Hello, this is Dr. Watson. We'll take a look at your friend. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. <clears throat> Everything ends up in a river. The it's water a good has thing a these curious whitish tinge to it. <clears throat> the subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? More signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions yet. <sighs> oh, hardly a reputable establishment. Don't swear she saw ghosts in the house. The Not in the
Five shillings. That won't go far. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. Phenol, a dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer. The fish's scales have decolorized. What a disaster. Phosphorus used recently. Where is this going? Several crates are missing. A herbal odor with an athletic base. Liquor? There was a box in the... They opened the casket and left marks. Bottles of various shape... No a small cart left those tracks. Somebody played with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket. And they left through that gate with a small cart. This is a pig of medicine. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags the patient slowly May into I death. ask for your assistance? Of course I know. To cut a long story short. Gentlemen, the doctor here and I have found the source of the contamination. A spade chemicals will take care of it. Where are we? Pressurize the company. But for now, get rid of the stained clothes and rinse any phenol-affected skin. No one else should touch the canal today.
Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Well oiled and well maintained. Fit for a crank. Passage, just as I expect. Wait, what's happening? Where am I? Phew. I didn't die. My heart, be calm. This cannot have been under the port of London all along. Is it an illusion? Now I am so... It's harder to breathe here. is already spinning. When will this end? Oh, that is truly revolting. What is it, Holmes? Watson! Holmes, where are you? <laughs> Fine rope work, cut by a finer blade. These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American, judging by the style. Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? His abdomen is severely bloated. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford...
At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of tin. <laughs> An immense... like the scribbling of madmen. A small blood stain, but not serious. The strength it would deep scratches left in a frenzy. Dumpra, a staple of lecture men's attire in Nepal. These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed, gathered from dozens of people at the very least. Many people were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. A few try to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. He was strangled to death on this altar. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Locked. I suppose the reception will be... What was that? It sounds sinister, even for a place like this. My heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor boat. Tubes of varying diameters. Interesting.
Looks like it's still operational. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? I'm sure I heard something. This should be enough to avoid unwanted attention, at least from a distance. The stamp on this crate confirms it came from America. That's quite a distance to travel. These are the s I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. This trip was prolonged. Perilous. A bottle this sturdy doesn't break by accident. Substantial blood loss. One poor soul found another way out. The doors can be opened for deliveries. were back through these doors, and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next, the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. Not everyone survived the journey. Dirty, exhausted, and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. But all the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's Door. Scratches. Something has been moved through here. This seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. The mer- To get well.
will Hi. You are... The light of the abyss is the light from the abyss. Uh, get out of my head. Hydraulic elevator, how ingenious. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. The patients here wear the same robes. We'd better inform the local police about this. You're right, Watson. But first, we need to determine where our case goes next.
Good lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry. Holmes, any... Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. Oh. And you think Mr. Barnaby would be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. Look, Watson, what have we here? A local crime star. I'm not going after these Holmes. troublemakers. A city but within a city. Posters will act. I read a study that suggests facial features can determine a person's tendency towards cruelty or deviant behavior. Well, you can't stop it. Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Damn, he at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. Can I ask you a question? I'm bone tired. But yeah, I help you. This place, there's a Spartan chunk. Oh, is it, not? it does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but Barnaby, unconscious but with his eyes open. Look, Watson, the two of you are just alike. Oh, great, so I look like a haggard up a cop. Eureka! What have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's mm. clothes. Holmes. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. Where's the money, Barnaby? I'll wait here so as not to arouse suspicion. Heavens, I've never seen gems so I simply must have them. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah, all that matters is what you learned about the gems. I shan't discuss it while still wearing that... Uh, this Mr. Barnaby is proving rather useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the sheriff. Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Ugh. Go annoy someone else while I visit the nymph. Ah, oh, forgive me, Watson. The difference is plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. Oh, could you help me? I'm very sorry.
this familiar to you? I've heard about that. Let me tell you. Are you... There are too many imprints here. Do you really expect to find the Feather of Rock here? More boot prints here. <laughs> Supper leftovers. It's not a simple tea, a herbal concoction, rather. Black tea seems not to be very popular here. <gasps> He dropped a cup here. This one is almost odorless. Interesting. It smells sweet. I will take it just in case. I would love to learn more about these. The healing properties of some herbs are truly amazing herbs. And cold ground herbs here. having dinner. He was alone. The herbal decoction started to affect him. He became dizzy and dropped the cup. Hallucinations and stimulation brought him outside. He could have drowned if not for the sobering effects of the cold water. This will be enough for my collection. As long as you don't hang those ugly faces up at Baker Street. Yeah, I bet Zoro will kill her. Did you see how she rushed there? Fearsome. Yeah, I'm afraid for them Chinese and for anyone who messes with her. Is this familiar to you? I'm bone tired. But yeah, I'll help you. Ah, oh, these herbs for- And you dare call my products substantial? Warehouse Eastern Gate. According to Cole, it all started somewhere near the barrels. Chewed tobacco. That's the spot. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. An oily handprint. The substance has solidified. I assume that this is cosmoline with which the gun was lubricated. William went in, then came back with a rifle. William was shot here. I saw him drop off the crane and then bang! He was lying there, dead. The bullet went through him, and based on its velocity and mass, I would say the shooter was no more than 35 or 40 feet away. The sheriff stood here. Cole had no chance to spot him approaching. 
It's a terrible choice of position, and it cost his brother his life. Then the sheriff yelled, See if there are more rats! And I woke up. And what did Cole do? My heart stopped. I froze. Cole sought safety in flight. Now I see why Cole thinks he deserved it. He simply left his brother behind. He did not have much of an option. Sad. I think Zora would like to know about this. Watson, the opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Cordona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I... I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and... some of my lowest moments. I'd rather wish my lockpicks had not been lost in the river. Along with all our clothes, books, tea. These fingers were severed with a single clean stroke. Look, Watson, animal prints. I wonder what kind. Ah! Do you smell that, Holmes? Something bad happened here. I know. Be prepared for anything. the blade, Watson. A curved dagger, probably of Persian or Indian origin. Nine or ten inches, I'd say. Watson, would you please lend me your medical expertise? I'll do my best. His corneas are already clouded. A deep stab reached the man's heart. Clean edges suggest a sharp blade, but the wound is too wide for an ordinary knife. The hand can bend freely. Rigor mortis has passed. Hay on his trousers suggests a gardener or groom. This man has been dead for a week. The result of a sharp object piercing his heart. You are mostly right. But I would bet he died five days ago. Heat and humidity. Someone was bleeding, but it doesn't look lethal. Burnt papers. Now completely unreadable. The trail of wax leads to the door. Someone smaller walked over these boot prints. The candle was burning when it fell.
I will need your help one more time, Doctor. An enormous blow shattered her ribcage. Blooded, broken nails. The poor woman tried to put up a fight. A wound like this could only be dealt by a man of incredible strength. And cruelty. He used kitchen towel. Tea for two. An odd glimpse of normalcy amid the horror. drops of blood, but not from a mortal wound. through the back door at night, leaving mud traces in the hallway. Without being noticed, they picked up a candlestick and struck the man in the chair from behind. In the kitchen, two people were drinking tea, the workman and cook. They were startled by the noise of a falling body and went to investigate the parlor. The workman... tried to subdue the intruder, but was stabbed by the attacker's knife. Judging by the wound, it was a curved blade. The cook panicked and fled back to the kitchen. The intruder followed, but since their blade was stuck in the workman, they used the meat cleaver on the table to kill her. Someone smaller arrived and discovered the carnage. They dropped the candlestick in horror and ran for safety to a room down the hallway. Meanwhile, the intruder returned to his first victim and dragged their stunned body away from the fireplace out into the garden. Davy, please open the door. After all this, Holmes, I doubt the young man would open the door to a stranger. Look at your marks on her neck. There'll be a bruise, but she should be okay. Doctor? Watson, speak to me. How is she? Let's take a closer look. These should come in hand.
update. Innocent slaughtered, a woman lynched, a boy forever traumatized. I fear we've crossed the Rubicon, Holmes. Davy is resilient, much like Eula. They will overcome this. You're right, but I worry this portends far worse for us. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? Holmes, do you believe the Sheriff, that we won't escape? One cannot be hurt by superstition, Watson. Look, Holmes, fireflies! Rowing like a professional, Watson. University of London Boat Club. Silver medalist, 1774. <laughs> what was that, Holmes? Whatever or whoever it was, we should ready ourselves. in the bayou? Holmes, I... I think I heard something swim underneath our boat. Probably just a rotten log. Did you hear that, Holmes? What do you see? Shadow. Nothing more. If you told me when I binned your paper that we'd end up fleeing the law in a rowboat through the Louisiana Bayou, I dare say you would have hardly been surprised. Stench of death. All too familiar now. Oh. 
Oh, Watson, stay calm, but be quick. An alligator has noticed us. That's... that's vicious. That's nature, Watson. Let's try not to annoy them. Over there, Watson. We're approaching the heart of darkness. This place gives me the shivers, despite the muggy night. Burning flesh, just horrific. Keep away from it. Focus on our task. The so hand we may soon leave all this behind. Pieces. This, the victim's left hand, pulled at the soil. The bloody handprint on this stone lacks four fingers. Sunken heels, the result of dragging a heavy body. Behind the st only this indentation was spared from blood. <laughs> Bowls filled with blood. Blood was poured over someone, leaving a gruesome silhouette. The initials EA are embroidered with silk thread. The prisoner's clothes tossed aside. The wood, a heavy weight, scored impressions in the ground one inch deep. Days old and rotten. Damp and moldy hay. The prisoners were kept like animals, slowly deteriorating under the gruesome treatment. was held captive in this cage until his abductors tied him to a cross and dragged him to the bonfire. Arneson was left hanging here for a while before being freed and led to the altar. At the altar, Arneson's captors performed a ritual on him and poured blood over his head. With Arneson now prepared, he was escorted to the sealed entrance. They used the mechanism with an indentation to open the passage. Covered in blood. The tracks leave behind the stone slab. Darn it. Something is wrong with my lantern. Give me a minute. I won't wait for you. I'm going in. Pleasant way.
happen now? Axis? What's on Earth for? That was all. I can't take any more. At last, the lantern's working again. Holmes, I'm coming. Oh. I sh please tell me there are no eels inside, Arneson. Blunt trauma to the cranium, dilated pupils, lips moving without a sound. Severed fingers, the wounds are inflamed. Cold sweat. Two, no, three ribs fractured. Pulse is racing, 110 beats a minute. Arneson is delirious after all he's endured. We can't get into the boat in a state like that. It's dangerous to us and him. <laughs> Odorless, watery, and hard to identify. This dwell induces sleep and relaxation. A gluey decoction. The smell is herby but sharp. It appears. <laughs> it should help soothe Anderson. I need some fresh air. Yes, please go. I'll be right behind you with Arneson. Perhaps you can prepare the boat. Another sinking near Scotland by the stri- Oh, thank you, sir. Here. A moment, please.
Roll back your regiment. They had it tough in Afghanistan. His face and neck are swollen, and I can see wasp stings all over the skin. Only his right arm was functional. His left arm was paralyzed in the war. Capital M, signed by someone else's hand. Look, there's a body here. Not just any body, it's Ash died recently. Scratches, bruises, and stabs, all self-inflicted. The infamous curved dagger. It's tied firmly to his hand. A broken chain, something was attached to the end. Oh, his eyes are gouged out. His body succumbed to all those wounds. This branch was recently broken. The wood is still green. A human-sized imprint. Someone fell on their back. Whatever Ashmat had secured to his chain, he lost it here. What drove him to this dreadful act? I fear we are about to see for ourselves. Ouroboros, a snake eating itself. An ancient symbol of eternal rin- Fresh marks, something scraped along the stone. This door requires a very specific key, and we already have it. This vessel is covered in dried blood. Oh, I get it. We need fresh blood. And no, I'm not volunteering. Fear not. I think Ashmat can help. Fine. Take my flask. Lever doesn't want to stay on its own. Look around. There must be something we can use. Those holes seem to have a purpose, but I won't risk my arm to find out what.
Be ready for anything, Watson. It's all right, Watson. It's merely a chest with coins and a dagger, made of obsidian by the looks of it. Look around, Watson. Use these with care. Let us be the first adventurers to raid a tomb without destroying it. Sherlock? Careful, Holmes. The base appears to rotate. Hands off, Holmes. We have no idea of its purpose. They are all entranced, captivated by the light of the lens. Sherlock, don't touch it. We still don't know what it is capable of. They modify the gallery and watch room. It seems they have placed beam emitters all over the main gallery. Khalid lenses are placed inside the lantern room. One moment, Watson. Something is missing here. 
Interesting. This could prove useful. Oh! <gasps> 